31 days of October, week one. Here we go. Guys, welcome to the first week of 31 days of October. I'm so excited. I have quite a few movies that I have to share with you. Now, as we all know, October 1st actually started uh, on, I think, Friday? Thursday? Somewhere around there. But um, I watched some early. I started, I think, Monday or Tuesday of last week because I wanted to... I, I, I had the fever. I was ready for some horror. So please forgive me if this started a little early. But anyway, I have a special guest this week. My special guest is Theo from Theo's Movie Reviews. And Theo is just itching to tell you what he watched over the previous week. So take it away, Theo. Hi, everybody, and thank you so much, Lee, for having me on talking about 31 days of October, or being a part of 31 days of October. September the 29th, I watched Nightmare on Elm Street, um, the first one with Johnny Depp, and the second one that same night. September the 30th, I watched The Conjuring, and I enjoyed this movie, I adore this movie. Um, it is just a great work from James Wan, and everybody needs to check it out. If you haven't, it's a great movie, not a lot of gore, but it's a great film. October the 1st, I watched The Shining, and I still don't uh, own that film, but Jack Nicholson does a great job as a maniac. And if you guys haven't seen it, definitely check it out before Halloween, because it'll get you right to the spirit. October the 2nd, I watched Christine, and I watch it every year. I don't own this film, but it's about a car that's haunted, and it kind of kills people. It's an interesting film. October the 3rd, I watched the Evil Dead remake, and I love this movie. Um, I haven't seen the originals, which I should. I, these are the movies that I have seen so far, but uh, movies that I'm planning of seeing before Halloween are um, Drag Me to Hell, Dead Silence, It, and Pet Cemetery. although I have seen Pet Cemetery, I just like to see it every year. Thank you so much, Lee, for having me on. I had a great time talking about the movies that I have seen and the movies that I'm looking forward to see. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Lee, definitely do that. He just reached 1K. He's a great guy. And yeah, follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let's get it going with what I watched. First of all, I watched Fear the Walking Dead. I'm going to count The Walking Dead because, let's face it, Walking Dead, it's horror. It's zombies. And I watched the last episode of Fear the Walking Dead. I haven't watched last night's episode of Fear the Walking Dead, but I'm going to talk about the week before. Basically, in the week before, the military has all the people quarantined they're trying to keep people safe from the walking dead or the zombies I've, I've seen all the episodes up to last week's episode and i don't like it as much as the walking dead uh, i really really enjoyed the first episode and it feels like there's just not enough of the dead yet and it's understandable i mean it fits within the storyline that's going on right now and i'll go even further and i'll say i think the show's gonna get better and I'm looking forward to continuing it and seeing what the season finale has because I got a feeling that the season finale is actually going to be pretty damn good. Next up is a movie called Final Girl. I rented this on Vudu and you know what? I actually like this movie. It stars Abigail Breslin and Wes Bentley. I'm a big fan of Wes Bentley. Pretty much everything he does is at least watchable. He was in the last Underworld movie, and that one wasn't that great, but he really had kind of an insignificant part. But in Final Girl, he is kind of a, a trainer for Abigail Breslin because she was orphaned, and he pretty much took her under his wing, and then it fast-forwards, and there's this group of, I guess, teenage boys, and they stalk and kill young, unsuspecting, and vulnerable girls. And what I liked about this movie is the way that it's filmed, the style. The director had a, a vision, and it almost kind of harkens back to like the 50s in the way that everybody's dressed. So I really like the set design, and I like the, th the third act. I thought it was uh, really interesting. So definitely check that one out. 
And actually, I am going to be doing a full review on Final Girl. So I will say it's definitely worth checking out. Okay, next up, I threw in the director's cut of Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, I, I really have mixed emotions about this. Uh, many of you have seen my review on Rob Zombie's Halloween. It's probably one of my least favorite of the Halloween movies. But I will say, sometimes when you're watching a movie, sometimes you enjoy it more than other times when you watch it. And last time I watched it, I actually really enjoyed it. Now, it does have some really annoying characters in it. But having said that, I still really enjoy the second act of the movie or the second half of the movie. The tension really gets ratcheted up and it gets crazy. And I still say Tyler Mayne is a damn good Michael Myers, even though he is a freaking seven foot monster. I love the way the mask looks and I kind of like the way he handles himself as the character. And I'm sure you guys can guess, I'm going to watch a lot of the Halloween movies throughout this October. I, this is my bread and butter. I love the Halloween films. I always have a great time watching them. As a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to be doing the whole Thorn trilogy next week, 4, 5, and 6. I'm looking forward to discussing those with you guys. Okay, for October 1st, this was the big night. This is the night where I wanted to make it count. And of course, I watched Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat is such a great Halloween seasonal movie. If you haven't seen Trick or Treat, where have you been? Especially if you're a horror fan. If you're a horror fan, you've seen Trick or Treat or you haven't heard of it. But Trick or Treat is freaking awesome. It's an anthology. It's got four stories and they all kind of interweave with each other. And every one of them is interesting. And there's this one character, Sam. He shows up throughout each story and Sam is so freaking awesome. I'm sure you've seen Trick or Treat, you know what I'm talking about. Sam is such a cool, cool character and damn it, what am I doing? I should have wore my Sam t-shirt. Oh well, Freddy will have to do. Okay, next up, I watched The Guest. The Guest is to Halloween what Die Hard is to Christmas. It's not really a horror movie per se, but it's set during Halloween and there's a lot of Halloween fun to be had throughout. There's even a little nod to Halloween 3 near the end of the movie when Dan Stevens is stalking Maka Monroe and if you look in the background, you can see all three masks from Halloween 3. Um, I, my second review ever on my channel was for The Guest and um, it's, it's just a really, really fun movie. It's action packed. Also, to talk about action scenes, this is how you film an action scene. Every action scene in this movie, they're quick, down, and dirty. There's no unnecessary movements, and it doesn't look like the camera is like in their armpit. You can see everything that's going on, and it happens to be kind of a horror film, which is awesome. So, The Guest. Definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. Okay, my next movie, I don't have the Blu-ray yet. I plan on ordering it, but I do own it on Vudu, and it is We Are Still Here. And I did a review on We Are Still Here a couple months ago, but We Are Still Here is a fun little horror movie. It's set in 1979 and it's this family. They go to this house, they're grieving over their son and there is a presence in the house. And every 30 years, it wants to feed on a family. And I love the way this movie is directed. I love the way that the, the ghosts or spirits look in the movie they can reach out and touch you they're not like the big hollywood budget ghosts that we see that just kind of scare you when you sleep no this movie is a bloodbath at the end trust me we are still here if you haven't seen it definitely check that one out and finally tonight i had to throw in sleepaway camp the first one again i just love this movie and if if it's your first time watching it about midway through, you're going to be like, what the hell is Lee talking about? This movie is horrible. But just stay until the end. Trust me. Stay till the end of the movie, then you will thank me. That's all I'm going to say. But I will say that the ending is one of the biggest WTF moments you will ever see in a horror movie or probably any movie. And it jaws a life to get this crap out of your brain after you watch it. But so fun. Sleepaway Camp. So anyway, guys, that's it. Week one is done. And I'm looking forward to week two. Got to have another special guest for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now I want to know what you guys watched for week one. Get down there in the comments. Let me know what you saw. Throw some recommendations at me. I like, I like new horror movies that I've never heard of before. And I know there's probably hundreds of them. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And drum dumb out.